Let's start the first wash. So it starts by applying the foam, medical foam, on the transplanted area, okay? You need to cover all over, you know, by not ap applying it directly from the bottle. First, put a good amount in the palm of your hand and only tapping, okay? Don't scrub it, don't use your nails at any part of this process. Be very gentle. And it needs to sit there for like 10, 15 minutes until it is basically absorbed by the scalp. So, you need to remember that the water needs to be very slow pressured water mm -hmm. and just keep it in body temperature, not too hot, not too cold, okay? okay. Right now, he's spraying some water, okay? This is something that you will skip, you won't do this at home. Mm -hmm. This is only for today to clean the blood clots and blood spots from yesterday. Mm -hmm. What we're doing right now is applying the shampoo, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, not directly from the bottle, okay? First, mm -hmm. make a good amount of foam in the palm of your hand, mm -hmm. and you will apply it on your transplanted area very slowly and gently, the same way, only tapping. Don't scrub mm -hmm. it, don't use your nails. But shampoo is for all over your head. Mm -hmm. So not only the transplanted area, but also your donor area and the rest of your head. For the donor area though, doing small circular massages is really helpful for the blood circulation to increase and that helps the healing process to become faster. To dry it out, mm -hmm. you can just leave it be air dry on its own, mm -hmm. you don't have to dry it. But if you want to do it anyway, you can use a paper towel, mm -hmm. like a kitchen towel, mm -hmm. if you will. No regular towels, no mm -hmm. toilet paper, and obviously no hair dryer as well. Uh, what you're going to do is like only pat. What he's doing right now yeah. is applying the antibiotic cream, okay? Mm -hmm. This is only for today. You yeah. won't be doing this at home. Okay. So the color is like orangey red color. Yeah. Don't freak out, it's now blood. And no need to clean it up until tomorrow when you're having your second wash. And keep in okay. mind, you need to wash your hair every day once. Once a day. Once a day, exactly. For the first 12 days. And that's it. Okay. All good. Thank you. All right, let's go. Hey, how are you doing? How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. How was your sleep? Oh, uh, it was perfect. Yeah? yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Wow, great. Generally, it looks fine. I'm going to check your uh, okay. transplant area and mm -hmm. donor area, what it looks like. Yeah, it looks fine. All the rest are inside. And also, it looks very clear. And your donor area seems fine. No infections, no bleeding, no discharge. It looks great. Very well. So just be careful for two days more. After that, you will feel better day by day. After two weeks, I guess, it will look almost normal. After okay. one month, you will look totally normal. Mm -hmm. No worries. I see that there is no swelling this time. So it's yeah. possible for me to, for starting from today or tomorrow, because I pray, then I have to move my head down. Uh, is it better or like after three days? It won't be safe, I uh, guess. So when you lay down, you uh, can um, hit or touch to no, the no, pillow not, or anywhere not else. Not laying down. I mean, like just prostrating, yeah. moving my head down. You can you can look down. No, no okay. worries. Yeah, of course. Any questions? Yeah, that's that, that's one. That's all. Be careful and good luck. Thank you. Have You're a good welcome. Day. You too. Take care.